Hi guys, Happy New Year. Hope you had a great Christmas and here's to a fabulous uh, 2017. Right, um, I haven't been on for a while because, as you can see, I've been moving into my new crib, uh, house, whatever you call it, um, and it's been a busy, busy, busy time. Um, so what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to show you the ultimate mulled wine recipe and it is absolutely fantastic. And there's a lot of science in there, obviously. I'm a chemistry teacher, so I've got some science in there. Okay, so first of all, we'll start with the ingredients. So, number one, mulled wine. Okay, shop bought mulled wine. Um, if you can't buy mulled wine, and I do understand that for viewers and subscribers in the US, this could be a problem because it's not terribly uh, well drunk or widely drunk in the USA. But you can use red wine if you need to, a bottle of red wine. But there is LD in the US. So go to LD and tell the manager you want bottles of mulled wine, just to make things simpler. So <clears throat> although I'm buying a bottle of mulled wine, we are going to intensify the flavours. And it's a decent mulled wine, but we're going to intensify the flavours. So it's mulled wine. And next after that, we're going to have a slug of brandy. So a small amount of brandy in there, as much as you prefer. I think everybody deserves that little bit of extra, don't they? So there you go, nice little bit of extra alcohol for you. We need thyme. Just a pinch of thyme. We need a cinnamon stick, and literally half cinnamon stick is absolutely all you'll need for a bottle of mulled wine that's shot for because it does have a lot of spices already in it. And we'll use star anise, and we'll use the uh, cloves, and of course, cranberries. So that's the ingredients there. So here we go, let's start then. So cinnamon stick, dropped it. Mulled wine. Now I'm not going to make it. It's Sunday morning, and I'm not really going to be drinking on this Sunday morning. You can, I suppose, but it's not really the sort of thing I'll do. So I'll just make enough in there for a glass. Okay. So here we go. A good healthy glass. Okay. Pinch of thyme. Thyme is known as, as thyme in the US as well, and thyme in Europe. Um, the only herb, major herb. Oh, that's more than a pinch. The only major herb, small amount, that's not known by the European name, or UK name, is Chilantro in the US, and we call it Coriander in the UK. Other than that, they're pretty much all known by the same name. Okay, so moving onwards, so cloves, literally a couple of cloves, just how flavour it. There we go. Um, and next we have star anise. <coughs> star anise, I'm gonna put one of these in. Now, star anise has something called umami, now, taste buds you have sweet, sour, salt, and bitter. But in the 1980s, a Japanese scientist discovered that we also have this sense of umami. And umami is savoury. Um, and it adds such a lot to everything we eat. And they say you should have some umami in everything. And I'm definitely going along with a bit of umami in everything. And then, of course, you have cranberries. Um, I forgot to say, by the way, thyme is a herb. It's a wonderful herb. Um, it actually... Um, it's an antiseptic, it helps with uh, lung disorders, just fabulous herb. I and mean, you know, you should have a little bit of thyme. Cranberries, add a few cranberries. They'll soften as it cooks and they'll be delicious, just a few cranberries. Um, cranberries are very good for uh, your kidneys and they clean out your kidneys, so another fabulous uh, thing to put in there. So it's really healthy actually. And of course, what I've forgotten, a little slug of brandy. Now, what you should do with this is leave that for about an hour, okay? And then, once you've left it for an hour, you pop it onto the hot and you heat it. Now, heat it very, very, very slowly um, on the hot, very slowly. And basically, what you're looking for is you're looking for the perfect temperature. And this is the science bit, okay? This is the temperature probe. Um, this is the thermopair, it's probably the best on the market, but you don't need the thermopair. Uh, any temperature probe will do. You know, you can get temperature probes for as little as about eight pounds. Um, that's probably about 10 US dollars now. Um, <clears throat> you can go onto Amazon and, and buy these. And that thermopair, they're basically, they're accurate to 0.1 of a degree. Now what we're looking for is when we, when we get this on, I'm gonna leave it for now, when we get this on, we're going to leave it towards slowly. Alcohol, the ethanol part, 
uh, of the alcohol boils at 79 degrees. So you don't want to lose the ethanol because that's part of the drink. Uh, it's part of that lovely mulled wine drink that you get out of it. So what you need to do is keep heating it and then just check every now and again the temperature and you're going to take that off when it hits 75 degrees and pour it. Then you'll have a delicious drink. You won't have lost any of the alcohol. So I'm going to leave that for a while and then we'll put it on and then we'll see what it uh, turns out like. Okay. Okay guys, another ingredient which I forgot to add is orange. Orange gives it that lovely citrusy flavour. So just put a few slices and it's quite nice as well as a garnish. So that's going in. And that should of course go in before you heat it up. Uh, there's lots of horrid seeds in there this one unfortunately. So I could have done with deseeding it, but I haven't. Okay, well, let's get that in there just to give it some citrus flavour. Okay, so it's going back on here now. And let's see what temperature we're at. Okay, we're at, let's push it in, 65, 66.5. So we'll just leave that to come up a little bit and we'll have our delicious mulled wine. Okay guys, so I'm just checking the temperature probe now and it's saying 77.2, so I've taken it slightly high, but I haven't allowed any of that alcohol to boil off. So now I'm just going to pour this into a lovely glass again. And that, the aromas from that, they are absolutely fat. I want a little bit of orange in there too and a few of these lovely soft cranberries to go in. Excuse the fingers. It is a drink for me there. So I think that's just about acceptable. And here we go, mulled wine. Nice and hot, lovely winter drink. Hope you enjoy it as much as I'm about to. So if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.